I know the story about the uh, the dove. So when you look at my profile and you see the three doves, well, we're only trying to flip out two. So um, when I look at it, it's a five-point program with five things. So I had to end up doing a total of five posts, which I think I got all five of them. And one of them has to be a repost, which is the one I just did, to flip out uh, the Innocence Project to get um people wrongly convicted either uh released retried or their cases uh reviewed but the wrongly convicted well that stems out of the american modern judicial system to not let nobody get away the original maximum laws is better to let one guilty man go free than uh you no know, it's better to let 10 guilty men go free than one innocent suffer. And that was based on um, other countries and their judiciaries would round people up, <clears throat> and throw them in the dungeons with no trial, with no date or review of their grievance about being locked up, and no uh, method or recourse or redress. So what it give us is it give us a tyrannical system that uses uh, the judiciary as a weapon on the oppressed to maintain their oppression. Fuck them. Um, kind of like uh, I ain't feeling this shit right now. I ain't feeling none of it. None of it. A to Z. None of it. I feel like motherfuckers is taking my kindness for a weakness. And I feel like um, this carrot on the stick shit, I'm gonna break your fucking stick and shove it up your ass kind of shit. That's how I feel about this shit. My biggest grievance though, is the ignorance of the masses. I don't blame them for being ignorant because your educational system educated you and how to be a proficiently ignorant person, how to be very skilled and dynamic at ducking the truth, avoiding the truth, avoiding the facts, and avoiding strength. When it can benefit you, run from it. So your educational system has educated you well as an educated fool. PhDs and came and I ran rings around them and that's with my little GED, I'm uneducated, officially uneducated. I'm officially uneducated. That means I'm not well trained in a system. That means that I'm a fucking problem already because the system didn't get a chance to indoctrinate me on how to be very skilled and fluent at participating in every facet of ignorance. So I'm automatically a problem. So how do you even, how do I even come to that idea that the system feel like I'm a problem because I'm uneducated by the system and I'm educated somewhere else? Where do I come up with this? Go back, go back to 1901 and work your way up. Find every self-made billionaire. That'll make it harder because it's less billionaires than it is millionaires. So it'll make it harder. But find them. With the exception of the one somebody hold their hand and he stole other people's shit named uh, Bill Gates. Almost every last one of them was dropouts. Almost every one of them was dropouts. That does not match the system. System tell you that if you get an education and the higher your education, um, the higher you climb on the socioeconomic ladder. It's true to an extent. But to break free, those billionaires that we speak of, which what you would call free, they got to live their life on their own terms, which the side effect of living your life on your own terms is the provisions of heaven on earth 
automatically open up to you because you're living in balance with the laws of nature. You don't live in the balance of the laws of nature and perpetually suffer. You live against the laws of nature and that generates the suffering. So I have to teach you in my educational processes how to fight nature so that nature can fight you. That way, I don't have to fight you. I can let you and nature fight it out because I taught you to fight against nature. And what do I mean by this shit? I already told you I ain't feeling this. And I wouldn't be doing this shit if I didn't have to. Sick of this shit. So it means this. <clears throat> At school, they teach you that you need to harvest and farm land in a particular manner to produce crops. But farmers don't work like that. In school, they teach you that you have to clear land, trees in order to build cities. Nature don't work like that. Nature on its own tell you where to build the cities. Nature on its own gives you automatic clearings on where you're supposed to physically build. Nature does this. They call them meadows, fields, um, rolling hills, lowlands, flatlands. Nature says build here in the valley where the mountain can protect you from the storm. You don't want to listen to nature. You want to listen to the system and blame somebody that's a maintainer of the system as if they are the creator of the system. Don't matter to me one way or another. Fuck them all. Fuck them all. Fuck them all. So go like this. Um, you are taught to eat unhealthy food so that nature will fight your body. You are given unhealthy water to drink so nature will fight your body because your body is going to automatically follow the laws of nature. Nature says don't eat toxins, but you eat toxins. So you get mad and you want to go to the doctor because you're sick now. You hurt, you're in pain, you suffer all kinds of physical breakdowns because the nature of the body is disregarded for the instructions of the educational system. So what's next? They tell you that cancer, high blood pressure and such, comes from a mutation in the body. Remember, the body is following the laws of nature. Nature says that this machine here is a motherfucking perpetual machine. It's never supposed to break down. Why is it breaking down? Same reason if you don't change the oil on your car, you blow your fucking engine. The same reason why if you don't periodically get a tune up and change your spark plugs, your car stop running. The same way that if you don't go to the gas station and get some goddamn gas, you can't get nowhere in that vehicle. This is your body doing the same shit your car doing on a more base and mechanical level. And you pay more attention to the base and mechanical level of the car's warning system than your own body. You're more likely to get an oil change when that red light on your dashboard go off than you are to eat dandelion and milk thistle to clean your liver when your body start aching for no reason or to understand that you can't get breast cancer if you massage your mammary glands because they are lymphatic, which means they have to be physically manipulated because of their location until fluids le uh, leak. Generally, it'll be a clear fluid unless she's lactating from a pregnancy, but that leaking fluid is the cleansing of the mammary gland. Your motherfucking doctors don't tell you this. Your OB OBGYNs and your motherfucking gynecologists, they just want to find a good excuse to desecrate the holy places. 
The holy places of the earth are mimicked by the holy places of the body of the woman. And that's why the nation of the five percenters called the woman the earth and man the God. The man is supposed to make sure that the earth, if he's a real man, he's supposed to make sure that the earth is properly maintained. If the earth is properly maintained, you are walk, working with nature. You are in harmony, balance with nature. As soon as you start going against nature, you need to control it with domestic violence. That's the same as taking a whole fleet of lumberjacks, clearing the forest. Same shit. The forest is there for a reason. It's okay to take some trees here and there because nature provides for the needs of man. But when man becomes destructive to nature and when man becomes destructive to the planet, that motherfucker lashes back. Now, when how do we know when men become destructive to the planet? You watch how men treat as women. They are reflective, mirror images. If a man don't know how to treat the woman in a society, he don't know how to treat the earth. Because the same way you plant seeds to grow crops to feed your children on the earth is the same way you plant seeds in the woman to grow your family. So if you don't have no reverence for the woman and her, and her purpose, you have no reverence for the planet. You don't even need to be here. We can roll out these motherfucking gallows and all these Monsanto ass motherfuckers can be publicly beheaded after you read the list of the dirt they done. They don't need to be here. Some of them have a birthright to be here, but they don't have an earth right to be here. You got to understand the difference. Birthright mean they are from the natural energies surrounding the earth that formed into the human. The earth right mean they have a balance with nature and the things around them. How do you know if the man is in balance with nature and the things around him is how he treat the woman. If he is not treating his woman in the manner that a woman should be treated, He's not going to treat the earth in the manner it should be treated. So we have to root out the evil. But the evil is in disguise. We don't know who that motherfucker is. The parasites. The gauls. The, um, the symbiote. The wraith. Come in. Some bad motherfuckers. But the hierarchy on earth uh, work like this. In a time of peace, they send you peace leaders. Um, in a time of famine, they send you those kind of leaders that leads you out of the famine into feast. In the times of plenty, they send you soothing and relaxing spirits as leadership in order to enjoy the plenty but in times of war, we turn this shit up. Earth turns up the quality and quantity of leadership to match the threat in successions of 10, in increments of 10. That means that it's like a video game. If the opponent that you are facing comes in at 10, the response is comes in at 100. So now we are near what you call maximum power output for the earth. We are right now going through what they call a maximum solar minimum, a galactic centering, a um, grid Shifting, thanks to the sisters getting tired of y'all bullshit, they can flip this motherfucker. Soon as these goddamn lines connect on this human resonance, y'all gonna see some crazy ass shit. And some of these motherfuckers gonna have superpowers. If I was you, I would bump straight if you know what's good. Um, the Artificial 
constructed systems that was put in place that was to allow us the opportunity to undermine and outwit the enemy, to use the very shit that he was using to tear us apart as our means to conquer him. So as he divided us, we went with the program of divide and conquer in order to tie it all together. It's the spider web. It's the spider web. The spider web captures the enemy without him even knowing he's caught in it. And we, by the time he realized what's going on, the spider on top of him wrapping his bitch ass up. So when all of the tribes of the earth came together, the ones from this land, more Inca, the ones from across the Atlantic South called the Afar Inca by us, or it's called Afar Amex by them, or Afar Aksum by the indigenous of that land on the other side of the water. They are brothers, but we ain't them. This our shit over here. The invaders that came over here knew better than to fuck with them over there, but they didn't know not to fuck with us. And they came in, they caught us when we was in a time of peace and plenty. That means that the level of leadership was feminine low. It was sweet water energy. It was no storm energy, it was sweet water energy. Right? So now you got to go back to your African um, powers to know what I'm talking about when I say it was sweet water energy. Nobody appreciated the bounty or the plenty until the oppressor came and took it away. Everybody felt like they was entitled to shit like greedy motherfuckers now feel like they entitled to reap the benefits of your work. <clears throat> they ain't did shit, but they should get your shit. They more have a more of a, a right to your shit than you do. That's a problem. They don't need to be here. I'm always taking their ass to the gallows too. That self-righteous, entitled ass shit. We are different in levels of ability. But we are saying in the sight of God that we are all valuable assets to the whole of nature. We are part of the balancing mechanism. Sooner or later, when a virus infects the body, the body gonna unleash what they call T cells or command cells. These command cells is gonna start springing up all over the organism until the enemy is surrounded without him even realizing it. Well, over on this land, they call gangbangers. They call fraternal orders popping up in academia, the gutter streets. How fucking dumb do y'all think we are? Moors. And I ain't talking about the order, the round table, them righteous brothers. I'm talking about you Zionist bitch made motherfuckers. That's what I'm talking about. You protocol Zionist Moors conquistador bitch made motherfuckers. How dumb do y'all think we are? Do y'all think we didn't have a motherfucking redemption plan, anything you do, we can counter that shit? You will never checkmate the spirit of the earth spirits on earth. It's not possible. Anything you bitch made motherfuckers bring, we got something better. Anything y'all bring, we got something better. Now, my brothers and sisters dragging their feet, my shit done. Somebody is still playing with this carrot on the stick shit like it's funny. It's not funny to me. Quit sending me on these motherfucking wild goose chases. Shit ain't working. I see the shit. I see it. I know what the fuck going on. 
Now, I'm not going to get all off into personal matters. Y'all know what's up. The ones who know what's up don't need me to explain it any further than that. The rest of y'all, it's not y'all business. It's my personal business. But back to public business at hand. There's a convergence right now, and y'all don't even see it happening under your nose. What you should be looking for in the very near future is Vladimir Putin uh, is assessing his um, incarcerated to do the biggest release of political prisons in the history of the world. I don't know if he's going to do it. I don't really give a fuck. 